Hey, good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, December 7th. I'm Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. And if you recall, December 7th is the day we remember Pearl Harbor Day, the day the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and got America into the Second World War. Uh, thank you to all, all those veterans who gave so much for us. Moving right along, starting with the economic calendar, and I always check the economic calendar to see if there are going to be any market moving announcements during the day. And today there are three pre-market and uh, one at 3 p.m., none of which are going to be market movers. Moving along to the morning news, I don't really have to go down the page because I see everyone's happy, all flags are in the green. So uh, just 354 rise in the in Dow futures, 60 points up in the S&P. So the markets are feeling good. And uh, of course, that is most likely a carryover from yesterday's rise in the S&P. One of the things that I tell my students is that the trade with the highest degree of success is, in my opinion, the gap trade. And so yesterday, Monday, there was a gap uh, up over here, and I have yesterday's chart up here of the uh, E-mini, and this is the micro E-mini, but uh, same configuration, same action. And the market opened here at 45.65. So if you are a student of mine or even uh, another trading school, or you have experience in the market, you know to look for the gap trade. Now here's the rub. The gap trade closes 70, 75% of the time. So it's a successful trade if you know that it exists and you, and you are looking for it. But something happened yesterday and it's really typical. Now here's what happened. The market opened at 45.65 and then shot up um, five, six points. Actually, it, it, it went down a little bit, then it shot up. And so people who were looking for the gap trade, the early gap trade, could have hopped on at the open and when the market rose up for the first minute or so, could have hopped off, been frightened off. But nevertheless, the gap trade is the most likely trade to show a profit. So we have to give it a little leeway. Now, typically when the market starts gap up or gap down, you have to let it shake around a little bit at the open. Don't just jump on in the first minute or two of trading. In this case, there was an opportunity from 45.70, or actually I'm going to go from the open, 45.65 down to 45.37. So we're talking about a roughly 30 point um, profit if you knew to look for the gap trade. So there is no rush to jump on, a 30 point profit. Think about that, 30 points in a trade that is successful 70, 75% of the time. So the risk reward was definitely uh, favoring the reward. So if you waited, and you should always wait when there's a gap trade opportunity, always wait because the market knows you're, you, that, that traders are looking for this. So they always try to shake off the weak hands. So the market is generally going to trade a bit away from the, from the, from the closing the gap. And, and this was just for a short time. This is the one minute candle. This can, this can go on for several minutes before the market does move toward closing the gap. So look what happened. I jumped on around over around here when I saw this uh, second minute candle, uh, a big decline. And of course, it immediately rejected. This, this was immediately rejected here. And I got on over here in the, in the, the third minute. And from there, the market shook around a little bit. And this is what I'm suggesting to you. Over here, the market was down at uh, 45.57, and we're, we, we have an opportunity down to 45.37. So we have a 20-point opportunity here, and we've gotten this uh, out of the way, this uh, manipulation up here, and we have a 20-point opportunity. So here was the trade for, the, for yesterday. Now, I want to point out something else also. In closing the gap, You'll, you'll notice that the gap didn't, the, the, the gap came within a couple of points of closing. Now, I, you know, I could be uh, off of a little bit with my, with my line here. I, I draw a line, a horizontal line indicating the 
previous day's close at 1600 hours. So I always look to see if the move to close the gap is going to bottom out just before closing the gap. And I, and I jump off. If, if I see, and again, this is a one minute candle. If I see, as I did here, that price is starting to reverse when the gap has not quite been closed, I get off because I'm not looking for this extra two points. I made my, my profit and I'm very happy here. And I know, and I'm telling you, don't always look for the gap to close exactly. If it starts to back up or back away from the actual closing of the gap, close your trade, take your profits, go home. Now, there, there was one other trade. Uh, there was a time and price trade, a market symmetry, symmetry trade over here uh, at about uh, oh, a little after 10. Difficult trade to call because of all this consolidation over here. This consolidation went from 4566 to 4552, about a, uh, a 14, 15 point consolidation with a significant pullback just before the rise up. But uh, I, I don't want to go into that in this video. So again, on the gap trade, 70, 70, 75% successful. Wait till the market indicates that it is actually going to close the gap uh, and then hop on You'll be, a, you'll, you'll be a profitable uh, trader that way. And in, if, if you pick up 20 or so points on a gap trade, do you really have to trade the rest of the day? Okay, so I'm going to go to, I'm just going to go to a three minute chart. And I, I put my trading zone, you know, I calculate uh, the, the trading zone every day, I send it, these numbers to my students. Here's today, December 7th. The trading zone, move this down. The trading zone is, is over here, and I'm not going to go over the numbers. You can read my chart. I send these numbers to my students. Let me make this chart a little smaller. You'll see that the market is trading right up here at 45, at 46.51. Previous close was 45.91, so it's a, it's, a, it's a huge gap that's forming today. Will it close? Mm, the gap doesn't always close it. It's typically when the market uh, opens or closes very far away from the previous close, there's a good chance the gap will not be closed. So uh, keep your eye uh, open for it. The market might trade around here for the day and, and then actually will close the gap later in the day. That's a trade you could look for. Uh, at any rate, Tuesday generally carries over uh, uh, when Monday is good and Monday is more often good than not. Monday is the is the strongest day of the week, historically. When Monday has a, a strong showing, there's usually some follow through on Tuesday, Tuesday mornings. Nevertheless, trade safely, exercise a lot of patience, always look for that gap trade, and learn to read the signals. If you take my course at timelessdollar.com, I'll teach you the signals to, uh, to, to, to look for. I'll, I'll show you how to practice uh, perfecting your vision so that you can recognize them and you'll be a more knowledgeable trader and I will send you these these calculated numbers of support and resistance trading zones using Taylor's book method every day prior to the market so that you can set up your chart for the following day okay this is Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar trade safely thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video